Hello everyone, I'm Banished Private here. Maybe by some of you, still known as Srupiel, but that doesn't matter. This is an appeal to the entire naval action community. It's time to act, not just watch and complain. I will try to make this video very short and informative with as little subjective opinions as possible and just pure facts. You can also check all of the important links provided in the video description down below and I also bet that many of you have seen this screen before from your own perspective maybe. If you're an active forum user providing with a valid feedback, that's probably something you've seen before. As soon as your feedback becomes negative, be aware of getting banned. Well, this has been a very common practice for game labs, the developers of novel action, to silence any negative feedback or players proving that developers know very little about their own game. So, you know, hundreds of banned users on the Naval Action forum, some players banned on Steam Community Hub by Naval Action developers on rare occasions, even some players getting banned in-game with full ban denying you access to the game. That sort of censorship and ban hammer was a so common that you know that most of us have learned to live with it and accept it as something absolutely normal and natural. Many of us have been even banned several times if not dozen. Well last few months for the naval action community and development have been a very turbulent time. Uh, as always lots of people getting warned or banned, several broken promises by developers, direct insults and admin even openly admitting that they can break every promise, that they can lie to their customers right into their faces and get away from it with full impunity, treating their customers without any respect whatsoever, like a bag full of garbage. Well, so some of you might have heard about my latest ban on the forums after creating a topic called possible violation of Steam rules that's fully constructive without any insults or personal attacks. I do list the official Steamworks page with their rules on regarding developers and the early access titles and stuff like that about making promises and, and f about future events, breaking promises and then we'll have also the quotes from admin. Rank experience, crafting experience is safe and guaranteed because I know players that purchase this game because of these given promises and like you know after half a year there's a message full experience reset will be applied on release so how can we trust these developers if they change their mind after half a year and if they break every promise they give then we have you know the promise about release and about you know lots of promises about patches that have been delayed several times uh then we have the promise about line ships and other amazing powerful vessels won't ever be premium that's a quote from admin. You can check the topic in the description. I'll link it, of course. And you know, there's the new third ray DLC coming. Well, admin says it's gonna be a fourth ray, but we all know it's a line ship. So I don't know how can we trust developers that break every promise and they also openly admit they can they openly admit that as developers of the early access title, they can literally change every aspect of the game and they can end up making this game about dinosaurs and have nothing to do with the age of sale. So it's time to act in my opinion because well everyone's complaining left and right in private messages on, on chats and stuff like that but it's not gonna change anything. You know complaining does not change or influence anything really. The developers certainly cannot forbid us from writing Steam reviews. They also cannot forbid us from flagging this product on the Steam page as uh, fraud, legal violation, probably best seating options would be legal violation or fraud and then you can also you know enter additional information that you feel is relevant here. I do not advise or you know make all of you do that, it's, you know, it's up to you guys. I, I'm just telling you that there is such a tool that you can use because if there's lots of reports of the certain products, Steam can really take a good care of that sort of report and you know after reviewing they might actually figure out that they need to give a warning for game laws that it's not really healthy what they're doing or not really legal or normal. For example it was one game called Earth Year 2066 and here as you can see on the screenshot it says on Steam developers make their own decisions about promotion, features, pricing and publication. However Steam does require honesty from developers in the marketing of their games. We have removed Earth 
from early access on Steam, customers who have purchased the game will be able to get re a refund on the store page until Monday, May 19th. So basically, what can happen is developers can get a warning, maybe some punishment, maybe uh, at worst case, Steam will remove the game because, you know, there will be like no way to solve the issues that developers have created and we all receive a refund. Well, sadly, you know, most of us, why we are here, like why someone, someone might ask why we're playing novel action if the developers are just making this game so bad for us? Well, there's no other competition. There is no other similar age of sale game like this. So we're stuck with, the, with an awesome game and terrible developers. So basically, this is our issue here. I don't know really what to do anymore. I really don't know. Developers, as you might see on some screenshots, are stating things about the game and trying to desperately prove other players that they're wrong. And then, well, we actually prove that the developers are wrong and they don't know that much about their own game. So, you know, they quickly delete their posts or they edit their posts or they ninja remove something or they warn and ban you. You know, it always go different ways. And apparently the reason of my ban, the recent ban on the forums is here. Player have threatened at the developer with feeling for violation for giving new content ships and thanking players for positive reviews, reporting to Valve for turn rate but rebalance. What What's next? Stop all development because someone will report us for changing the game. Such supporters are not needed both on forums and in game. You're defending the wrong person. So apparently I'm not needed on forums and in game. It kind of sounds like a threat of, you know, banning me again in the game. I don't know. I really don't know because the first time I was banned in the game it was when admin with personal attack, at, you know, he really with personal attack came to one of the forum users. Like one of the forum users asked them, we've been waiting several months for the wipe of a patch. It's been delayed several times. There was literally no information in the forums, nothing going on, nothing happening. And like one of the guys says, okay, I have a degree in economics. I can help you guys with your, uh, with your marketing economics and you know, overall organization in the company. And he says, no thanks, there's no need in that. And he posts a, a photo of him sitting in Dubai with the laptop open and, you know, novel action running there. And it just, it was so outrageous, you know, like it made so many people angry. We've been waiting for months and we didn't know what's going on in novel action. We've been all angry, waiting, we didn't know what's going on. And here he posts his photo on holidays, you know, in Dubai. And he's saying like, no, thanks, we're fine. I think we're good. We don't need your help. You know, after commenting that, I was, you know, the, the post made by admin was quickly re removed, edited and so on. But I still got banned on forums, in-game. The ban uh, at some point was actually lifted, but that's, that's totally different topic. So here you can see so many people agreed with me on the forums with the topic that I say possible violation of Steam rules. It's been, you know, upvoted over 36 times by now. The admin instantly, after five minutes, locked the topic. He tried to make fun of me, he tried to make jokes about me, but it seemed like no one really laughs at, at these sort of jokes. So after three hours of making that topic, I've been banned from the forums. Surprisingly, I'm still not banned in the game, but you know, that might be a subject of change. So I don't know really how to trust developers that break their promises, that say they can get away with every, you know, fraud, with every lie, with every broken promise. I don't know how to feel about developers that treat their customers like trash, because I can't really describe that in other words. This is, guys, you know, up to you what you're gonna do. If you're, you guys can, you know, make a review, leave a review about that game on Steam, you can flag this product, as I mentioned before, report this product to Steam, so Steam might evaluate the developers and how they're you know treating their customers because all of that happens on the platform of steam so game labs studio is fully dependent on steam if steam will verify that game labs are doing lots of wrong stuff there is lots of wrongdoing then you know that might change for the better of the game because i really hope that i will not see novel action removed from the steam and the development absolutely stopped, removed, cancelled, deleted. But, uh, you know, there must be something done in order to change the current state of the game and development. That's is, that's is gonna, this is gonna be all for today. Thank you everyone for watching. 
And thank you everyone for the warm words of support that I've received from lots of lots of you. I know that many players from the Naval Action community do agree with me. And I'm happy to hear people, you know, messaging me in private, in game and so on. Sending me uh, letters that they're, you know, really sorry about the ban, that they agree with what I've said. And we all you know, really hope for the good of this game. We're not trying to shut it down. This is This is not our goal. But certain steps and measures must be taken in order to see some changes in the future. Everyone take care and have a nice day. Punish Privateer out.